It's that time of year to get excited about birding again. Not that I was ever unexcited, cause you know, it's me. Hey guys, it's Marlene. Yes, it's migration season. At least it is where I live and I'm around the 52nd parallel in uh, Calgary area. The waters have started to open up. So as the temperature warms up, the further north they go, and right now they're here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but behind me there are thousands of birds on the water here. There's uh, trumpeter swans, Canada geese, ducks of all varieties. Birds keep coming through all spring and uh, it's a great opportunity for you to practice photographing birds in flight and larger birds. You can do that with your Lumix G9, 100 to 300 millimeter lens or whatever you have. If you have a white bird against a blue sky, you can't go wrong. That's the easiest bird in flight to photograph, in my humble opinion. Another good thing about this time of year is the bugs aren't too bad yet. No mosquitoes or black flies yet, but they'll be coming soon. So it's a great opportunity to get out and shoot before all those icky things happen. Because, you know, who loves getting eaten alive by mosquitoes? I don't know about you, but I sure don't. The light's getting a bit better. Maybe I'll get some good shots today yet. Something I noticed, uh, especially when photographing across water or across a field, is you have to watch out for mirages. Now, mirages happen when the ground is warm and the air is cool. The warm ground warms up a layer of air just above the ground, so when the light moves through the cold air and into the layer of hot air, it's refracted or bent. Now this effect is visible to the naked eye and in your photos and videos too. Now I notice with a long lens it seems to be even more pronounced. Now I took many of these photos when it was under 10 degrees Celsius, but because of the difference in temperature between the air and the surface of the water or the field, I got a mirage. The warmer the day, the more chance of a mirage kind of effect you will get. If this video has inspired you to get out and take photos, please consider buying me a coffee. And thank you to those of you who have supported me in the past. You know who you are. I really appreciate you. So a lot of you are wondering how to find the birds. And one of the things I suggest you do is Get a bird guide, uh, get online. eBird is really good and it tells you where birds have been seen. Also join a local birding group on Facebook or something like that. And hopefully you make a few friends in those groups and that's how I did it. You just gotta start somewhere. And once you're hooked, you will get tuned in to sort of the habitat where birds go and the time of day to go out. And then you'll be well on your way to being a birder. And once you start birding, trust me, it's very addictive and you'll never be able to stop. And small birds are migrating too, and you might even see those in your own backyard. Let me know in the comments below which part of the world you're in and which migrating birds that you found on your journeys. Don't forget to check out the community tab on my YouTube channel where I share photos of my birding adventures. If you need help photographing birds in flight, you can watch this video right here.